In this video, we will be creating a desktop shortcut for our domain users that goes straight into the software installation page in the control panel. And we are doing this to make it easier for them to find their software installation page. And now to create this group policy, I will go to my domain controller. Uh, and here in the server manager, I will select tools and then find group policy management. And here we want to select an organization unit uh, which has uh, our computers, which are used by our users. Right click on it and then click on create a GPO in this domain and link it here. And I will name this group policy software shortcut and click OK. Now we want to right click this group policy and click on edit. Then let's go to computer configuration, preferences, Windows settings and shortcuts. Now in this screen, let's right click, go to new, shortcut and for the action we want update. And now for all other parameters, I have made this GitHub page where you can find the path to this setting also the name and the target and the arguments and i will be using the values from here and i will also leave a url in the description down below so for the name i will be using install a program from a network and paste it in here then here for the location we want to select all users desktops desktop and that's perfect for us because it will create the shortcut and the user will also not be able to remove it. Now for the target path, I will just copy this executable name and paste it in here and I will do the same for the arguments. Okay, so that's it here. And we can also change the icon to something more pleasing. We can do that here where the icon file path. We just we can just click on the browse button and find an icon that we want to use here. And in my case, I will use this one. Click OK. And that's basically it. Now we can click apply. OK. Close the screen. And let's go to one of our client machines to test the group policy. So to do that first, I need to open a command prompt and do a GP update. And as you can see, we have our icon here instantly. I will also close this screen and try clicking on it. And it works fine. We can also try to install Zoom as an example. And as you can see, the icon in Windows 11 is a bit different than we saw in the server. And now we have our Zoom installed. So now every time our users uh, want to install something, they can just use this icon to access the available software. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And see you in the next one.